Perfect. What's up, ARMY? And welcome back to ARMY Vlog. And just a reminder that this month, we are going to be starting the clues for our giveaways. So keep your eyes and ears open at all times here in ARMY Vlog so that you can have a chance to win your very own BT21 merch. Also, we are going to have a guest host for the next two weeks. Got it? Let's get started. All right, ARMY, here comes the update for Billboard Hot 100's chart. Now, last week, Fake Love was number 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Unfortunately, this week, we dropped 41 spots to 51. Now, don't be dismayed and don't get discouraged. In the summer, there's really a lot of artists that we are in competition with, a lot of great songs and anthems that we are in competition with. So we are doing pretty well. Just make sure that you keep streaming, you keep shazamming, you keep buying the track if you can, and that you request to your local radio station. Don't get burned out, guys. Let's keep working hard so that next week we can see great a great difference in the charting for Billboard Hot 100. I'm doing it, I'm streaming, and I hope that you stream with me. We can do this, fam. We got this. BTS has hit the top of the Billboard charts once again, this time hitting the number one spot on the Billboard Artist 100. Last week, our boys were at number four, but this week, BTS gained their first ever number one spot on the Billboard Artist 100. This week was also their 85th week on the chart. But wait, there's more. BTS also received what is called a Billboard All Kill, the very first of its kind, as a Korean artist. So what does a Billboard All Kill mean? It means that all of the songs in the Love Yourself Tear album charted on the World Digital Song Sales Charts, led by Fake Love, followed by The Truth Untold, then Singularity, Airplane Part 2, Anpan Mime, Magic Shop, Love Maze, Paradise, so what? Outro tier and 134-340. BTS was also number one in the worldwide iTunes albums chart and worldwide iTunes songs charts. Pat yourselves in the back, army. We all did that. Congrats again to BTS and let's keep slaying the chart. Looks like the boys are getting even more trophies to fill their bags. The boys are back in Korea and they are totally killing it in the Korean music shows. So far, they have had eight wins for Fake Love. Two wins on Music Bank, two wins on Music Core, two on Inkigayo, one on Show Champion, and one for Mnet Countdown. But throughout all of these wins, one of the very first words that come out of our boys' mouth is, guess what? ARMY boys are truly, truly thankful for all the support that we have given them, so let's keep on supporting them. And let's keep filling that trophy bag. On BTS's 8th win on Inkigayo, hashtag fake love 8th win wasn't the only hashtag that trended. This hashtag was posted by Bigot themselves and it was about our very own god of destruction, Kim Namjoon. Now during the boys' fake love performance, Namjoon, during one of the dance moves, accidentally pulled open Jungkook's top, revealing Jungkook's chest to everyone. As if it wasn't enough that Jungkook shows his tummy or his abs during that performance. Now in any case, Armies were fed this time by Namjoon, and we are eternally grateful. BTS was nominated for a Radio Disney Music Award, So Happy, Songs That Make You Smile, for their song, DNA. While they were in Los Angeles for their Billboard promo tour, they stopped by Radio Disney to have some fun. So, you're first. Let's do it. Try and make him smile. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's Brent Rivera was the host for BTS, and like always, 
the boys had the time of their life just giggling and having fun and being themselves. BTS also took part in the Try Not To Smile Challenge. Each member took a turn sitting on the chair and others would try to make them laugh. Of course, if they laugh, they lose. If they don't laugh, then they win. Now, as we all know, BTS is like, they're a bunch of goofballs and of course they pretty much busted out laughing, except for Min Yoong Gi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. He's an ice. Right, I think we can conclude that he uh, just won the challenge. Now from Jin's windshield wiper laugh. All right. <laughs> All right, there he is. Nice job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to Jungkook's Jimin Shu. Three, two, one. <laughs> there are lots of laughter and love to be spread around. Now on Friday, to kick off a new charting week, they get released an extended version of the fake love music video. The track featured is pretty much like a, a rock remix and is accompanied by nearly a whole minute of new footage. And of course, in true ARMY fashion, theories were ablaze. The hashtag smash not smashed was even made in discussion over the shocking final scene in the music video. And many fans noticed that Jungkook didn't meet a man or a person in that room. The six empty ones now make sense as we see Jungkook exit through another door that leads him to the rest of Bangtan, all wearing their cloaks and masks. So a much discussed theory is that Jungkook was trying to save his youngs in fake love. Now, however, in the end, he unfortunately succumbed to the mask. Now, another theory, which I personally think is, I, I don't know. Because you know how like we all have theories that we all personally like or, or feel strongly about. And this other theory is that Jungle became the new owner of the magic shop. And with that, he destroyed everything fake that came out of the magic shop. We will link some of the theories that we feel strongly about in the description box below. Now, that wall of rock in the end really left everyone shook. Now, what do you think that means? What are some of your theories? Please let us know in the comments below. Now on June 3rd, BTS appeared on SBS's 8 o'clock news for an exclusive interview where they talked about their recent comeback success, including the Billboard Music Awards, their recent number one on the Billboard 200s chart, and their experiences in traveling to the United States. News anchor Kim Yong Tae started praising the boys for the song Fake Love the way he asked the boys how they felt about ranking number one on the Billboard 200s chart. Jungkook said that he didn't even realize what was going on until everyone around them started to congratulate them. He also talked about taking pictures and making friends with various popular artists that they had met in the Billboard Music Awards. Sojin said that it was uh, such an honor to see those stars. Jimin continued to explain that for him, uh, the happiest moment is when their fans would start singing with them even in Korean. Taeyong expressed how surprised he was that their songs could gain so much popularity because of the videos that armies make that can transcend language and region. Now, while talking about their music, Namjoon and Yoongi focused on the important message in their lyrics. With songs that focus on social issues affecting young people and with their new album Love Yourself Tear, they wanted people to ask themselves, what does it truly mean to love yourself? Jin and Jimin also talked about how difficult it is to sing that high-pitched chorus of fake love while also performing complicated choreography. Jimin said that because the choreography that they had done for fake love is different from the other styles that they had done before, it was difficult. 
and Jin said that they had to work hard to reach those high notes, but it made the song a lot more attractive. Now, when talking about vacations, Jungkook said that they usually do it for team building, but it's not like a real vacation where you can play all day. <laughs> Finally, the boys were asked what careers they would have taken had they not become idols. Jimin said that he actually considered to become a policeman in middle school, while V brought up his dream to become a saxophonist. I said that very carefully. J-Hope said that he liked tennis a lot when he was in school. Yoongi said that he originally came to the company to become a producer. And if this didn't work out, he probably would have become a SBS 8 o'clock news anchor. Our boys finished thanking us armies as always for the things that have happened to them and for making them who they are. Tay said, if we didn't have ARMY, BTS wouldn't be here right now. If only they knew that everything we are is because of them. And yes, Jimin, we will be with you our entire lives. Congratulations, ARMY. The results are in and we got ourselves more trophies in our bag. BTS and ARMY won in the two nominated categories in the MTV Millennial Awards, which are the Best K-Pop Revolution Artist and the Best Band ARMY. Thank you so much for working hard this past month in voting. Now for an artist's interaction. After John Cena posted a picture of him or a video of him trying to say, I am ARMY, Yoongi replied saying that he is a big fan, not just of John Cena, but other WWE wrestlers as well. Not only did John Cena see Yoongi's response, but the WWE also wrote an article. Watch this cute video of Yoongi trying to impersonate John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Kraft Peanut Butter started a social media campaign to raise money for allergy research at a sick kid's hospital. Within a couple of hours, armies all over the world showed their support by tweeting the hashtag Kraft Bear Hugs along with cute pictures and gifs of BTS bear hugs or BTS with stuffed bears. In response to the huge amount of support from ARMY, Kraft sent out a special shout out to BTS and ARMY, thanking them in Korean and even asking BTS to DM them. Now because we were so quick to achieve our goals, Kraft Peanut Butter agreed to donate another 50,000 if 2 million mentions are reached. When we use our large social media presence for causes like this, amazing things happen. Like artists, like fandom. ARMY, as always, while following in Bangtan's footsteps, have found a new charity to support. The Drew Project was founded after the Pulse nightclub, an LGBT plus nightclub was attacked by a gunman. In honor of one of the lives lost, Christopher Andrew Lainonen, the Drew Project raises money for LGBT plus youth and gives them scholarships to attend college. IGN, the Drew Project, Your Ultimatum, VTS Army, and everyone else who took part helped raise money for these scholarships. By adding the hashtag the Drew Project, your ultimatum will donate a dollar to the cause. BTS would definitely approve of this amazing charity. On May 31st at 12 a.m. Korean Standard Time, Big Hit dropped a bomb on us. Something that we knew was coming, but it was still unexpected for most. And guess what it was? The timeline for BTS Festa. 2018. Now, for those who are new, FESA is pretty much two weeks of BTS drowning us with contents leading up to their anniversary. Some things to look forward to, dance practice videos, camera focus of the boys, some photos, and special performances. It's the most wonderful time of the year, especially for ARMY. So, on the first day of FESTA, BTS gave to me 
the Brit Rock remix of Spring Day. Now, then they gave us a photo collection of some highlights in their past year. Um, after that is Bangtan News, which is like a newspaper with cute interviews and updates of the boys. Now, afterwards, they also posted the dance practice of their legendary performance in the Golden Disc Awards. Stay tuned to find out what else the boys are going to be giving us during this festa. Let's celebrate, ARMY! Our Bantan is turning five this year. That wraps up this week's episode of ARMY Vlog. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe and spread the word to all the armies that you know. If you want to be a part of official BTS club, don't forget to fill out our application form below. If you want to be a collaborator or if you or your fan base has a project that you want us to cover, please let us know and we will be happy to help you out. For the most part, armies, please make sure that you take care of yourselves, that you are also watching your health and making sure that you are sleeping well. Don't forget, Festa. Let us celebrate Festa. It is like the most amazing thing, especially if you are a um, first time army. Oh my goodness. Watch out for it now. All right, so that's it, guys. I'll see you next week. Love myself, love yourself.